So, Kevin Crawford here from the group Lunasa, and uh, of course I've done other projects with groups like the Teetotalers, along with Martin Hayes and John Dial, and uh, done a number of solo recordings, and I've been playing music in Ireland for a long, long time. Um, and I, I suppose like lots of other musicians, got into the music um, through this instrument here, the tin whistle. And most people when they're starting out in Irish music either learn this going to school or else they find one in a drawer or up on a cabinet or hidden under a bed somewhere in Ireland. And, uh, you know, as inquisitive little children, we tend to kind of want to try things. So we, we generally start on the tin whistle. And as we find that we're progressing, we look for a better instrument. And uh, that's where the kind of tasks get a little bit more difficult. Um, tin whistles, even though they're available, getting a good one is, is quite a tricky uh, thing to, to get. So um, what used to happen was people would go into a shop in Ireland, there'd be boxes of tin whistles there, and you'd go through maybe a couple of dozen of them, and you'd find one that was in or around the sound that you'd like. It played pretty well, and uh, it was in tune, and you'd bring it home and you'd start playing with it. And if you were, um, you know, kind of equipped with the the tools and the ear and the um, the knowledge, if you like, you might tweak it a little bit, and you'd get it to play even better than it was when you left the store. But there's not many people who can do that, and uh, you need somebody like Jerry Freeman. And Jerry is uh, an amazing individual who spends infinite amount of times tweaking hours I should say spending time getting the whistle to play better than it would have originally done uh, as a mass-produced instrument so Jerry has his way of doing things as I say spends lots of hours um, and ultimately then you would get a whistle that's much more playable like the one I just played for you there uh, they're in tune and they're sweet sounding um, but this is a very laborious kind of way of doing things and uh, Jerry thankfully has the opportunity now um, through the University of Connecticut's Digital Musicology group um, to kind of bring it to a, a different kind of a level if you like in terms of the uh, the innovation and, and the kind of the technology there to, to make this happen. Basically they're going to convert Jerry's tweaked whistle designs into 3D computer files and from this then he'll be able to create the final versions that we're going to the tooling for mass production and then off we go from there and that will make all of our lives as musicians a lot more uh, bearable and it'll make our lives for our folks at home a lot more bearable too they won't have to listen to out of tune tin whistles so thankfully through uh, the indigo crowdfunding um, Jerry is looking for people to uh, kind of come on board and make this a reality um, so the goal is to pay the cost for the University of Connecticut to scan the whistles create 3d computer files and then get Jerry some software uh, from this he can create the final designs for mass production and if the donations go to a higher than um, kind of perceived goal uh, he will put the extra money aside to help pay for the mass production tooling which will be needed at a later stage. Um, this is really important as I say because the tin whistle is the instrument that gets most of us into the music when we start out. Um, outside of that it's not just uh, a kind of a, an instrument for, for beginners. I, I believe, I've been campaigning for the tin whistle for a long time, I think it's a a beautiful instrument in its own right and we have uh, incredible musicians from Ireland who have made this instrument um, you know kind of what it is today you've got Mary Berger and Sean Ryan and uh, Johnny Madden and great players out there who, who are incredible on the tin whistle um, and it's, it's, it's worth getting this thing to work properly so if you would please get behind Jerry and his campaign and let's uh, see this becoming kind of a much more available product.